Hello everyone, welcome back to Canadian Coins. In this video, I'll be sharing my success story in temporary resident to permanent resident pathway application. It was a combined application, it had the principal applicant and one dependent. So this video, I'll be sharing the documents I had during my submission and the timelines for like the step by step timelines for each updates and request I received through my IRCC portal. The application was submitted on May 6th, 2021. The principal applicant didn't have an IELTS test report, but instead we had a screenshot of the test. So it, that is that was only required by IRCC during the submission of application. So we had a check for that, but the principal applicant didn't have a biometrics done in the past, and there was no police certificate ready up front. But in the case of dependent, the biometrics was done, but there was no police certificate ready up front. We had all other mandatory eligibility documents ready with us during the submission of the application. Let's see the timelines from the day the application was submitted until a final decision was made on this application. The application was submitted on May 6th at 12.25 p.m. We received an AOR on July 16th. And the same day, we received a request for biometrics for the principal applicant because a biometrics was not done for the principal applicant. We were able to do the biometrics on the next day, next working day. And the same day, a police certificate was requested for both a principal applicant and the dependent that was submitted on the next day as well. And on July 23rd, both applicant and the dependent was uh, got an uh, update saying a medical was passed for them. We didn't have a new medical done for this processing. We submitted our old medicals, which uh, which was like a two year old medicals for this processing. And as we didn't have a full test report for IELTS submitted at the day of submission, it was requested on September 1st, which was up uploaded on the same day. And we received two profile updates on September 13th and September 15th. But there was no big changes inside the application, but there was a status update, um, like a sign shown uh, at the entry of the IRCC portal. And on September 16th, we got an email to our registered email address uh, saying the portal was open and we have to fill a few information and reply to that email. And we did that and we received, after like a couple hours, we received uh, an email with our portal information and we logged in using that. And where we submitted uh, the photographs for the PR card and the current address in Canada for the PR card. On September 23rd, we received an email saying we are permanent residents in Canada and uh, ECOPR is ready to be downloaded from the portal. So the confirmation of PR was ready to be downloaded and the ECOPR was received and sub in the application we submitted for the essential worker category. Finally, we are permanent residents in Canada. Congratulations to all my fellow people who got their PR through this pathway and all the best for the applicants who are waiting for a result and while their processing is going on i hopefully you all get the pr very soon thank you for watching the video you have all have a good one